Speed Index is one of the metrics that impacts the Lighthouse performance score on PageSpeed Insights and in other performance tools. In this video, I'll explain what the Speed Index metric measures and how you can optimize it. Speed Index measures how quickly your website renders overall. Unlike the large content for paint metric, it does not look at a single page element. Instead, it looks at each film strip snapshot during the rendering process and compares it to the final, fully rendered page. That, by the way, is also the reason it's only reported in synthetic tests. Processing image data makes calculating speed index computationally expensive, so you wouldn't want to run that logic on visitor devices. Currently, speed index makes up 10% of the overall Lighthouse performance score. On mobile devices, a score below 3.4 seconds is considered good. To calculate speed index, Lighthouse looks at each rendering frame and checks how close it is to the final rendered page. If no page content is rendered yet, the page is 0% complete. During that time, each second that the page spends in that stage contributes one second to the speed index score. That means that the speed index score can never be better than the first contentful paint. As content starts to appear on the page, each second in the loading process starts to contribute less than a second to the speed index score, depending on how much of the page content has rendered at that point. This chart from the MDN documentation visualizes that. The area above the curve indicates incomplete rendering and adds up to the total speed index value. Speed index differs from the visually complete metric because it doesn't increase linearly as the page content appears. For the visually complete milestone to be reached, all page content has to render fully, no matter how small. So your visually complete score will be higher than the speed index. If your page contains animated content like a slider, this can sometimes cause poor speed index scores without negatively impacting user experience or core web vitals. In this case, it's okay to not worry about your Lighthouse performance score and just focus on your actual website visitors. Improving speed index matters as it increases your overall page load speed. Working on other metrics like first contentful paint or largest contentful paint will usually also result in an improvement to the speed index metric. However, you'll also want to look at content other than the LCP element. For example, if the LCP element is an image, you might get a good LCP score even if web fonts are loading slowly, causing text content to appear late in the page load process. Looking at a video rendering of how your page renders allows you to see what content is loading slowly and should be optimized. To do that, run a free website speed test on the debug web website and scroll down to the video recording. Step through the recording frame by frame to see when different parts of the page appear. You can also look at the request waterfall to see what page resources are loading and how that impacts rendering. 